In this video, we are going to learn how to find the square roots of any number, whether the square root would be a rational number or an irrational number. But before we start this, we need to know how to group the digits. So there are certain uh, set of rules that you should be knowing to group the digits. Always start with the units place or always start from the decimal point. Make groups of two digits. Put zeros after the decimal point if they are required. Let us look at some examples. The first one is 145. So always start with the units place or the decimal point. So the units place is 5 and we need to make a group of two digits. So 4 and 545 will make the first pair. And since one is left alone, it will be considered as one group. So we can assume or imagine there is a zero written over here. So zero one is one. So zero one is another group. Two, three, one, five. So over here, one, five will be the first group. And 23 will be the second group. Six, three, five, four, one. So 41 will be the first group. Always remember we need to make groups of two digits. 35 will be the second. And 6, since it is left alone, will be the third group. But what if there are decimal points? So if there is a decimal point and if there is only one digit or odd number of digits after decimal point, we can insert a zero or we can write one more zero, one more zero in order to make it a pair. So over here, 1, 4, 14 will be the first group. Remember the group has been started from the units place or the decimal point. And 5, 0, 50 will be the second group. So the group starts from the decimal point. It goes in this and that direction. Similarly, 2.315 can be written as 2.3150. 2, it is left alone. So it will be the first group. 31 will be the second group. And 50 will be the third one. Similarly, 635.41, so 35 will be the first group, 6 will be left alone, and 41 will be the third group. Find the square root of 5329 by division method. So first of all, we are going to make such a arrangement, and we are going to write a number 5329. Now we do not know whether this is a perfect square or not, but before we start, the actual division, we need to form the pairs, the groups. So 29 will be the first pair and 53 will be the second pair. Now this table shows the squares of the first 10 natural numbers. So the square of 1 is 1, the square of 2 is 4, the square of 3 is 9 and so on. So we need to find a number which we are going to write over here as well as over here such a way that both the numbers should be the same numbers and when you multiply both the numbers you should get 53 or a little less than 53. For instance if I write 1 over here and 1 over here 1 ones are will be 1 but 53 is too big than 1. So we can write 2 twos are 4, 2 over here and 2 over here but 4 is also too tiny for 53. So we need to see 6 6 is 36, 7 7 is 49, 53 is still big and 8, 8 is 64, so 64 is bigger than 53, so we need to settle for 7, 7 is 49. So we're going to write a 7 over here, and 7 above to get 49. Remember, we are taking 53 together. And when we subtract 53 and 49, we are getting a 4. Now, we need to write this 7 down and add 7 to this previous 7, like this. And 7 plus 7 is 14. But we are going to write 14 a little away from this line. We are going to keep a space over here so that we can insert a digit which is just about to come. So we have 14 over here. We have 4 and 7. Now we are going to bring this 29 down. Remember the numbers are brought down in pairs, in groups of 2. Now watch. Now, we need to know what number should come over here after 1, 4. Such a way that the same number when multiplied to this number 
should give us 429 or little less than 429. For example, I can write a 2 over here, so it will become 142. And I shall multiply it with a 2, because we are writing a 2 above, so we are writing a 2 downwards, below also. So 142 multiplied by 2 gives us 284, which is of course less than 429. But if we try with 3, so we are writing a 3 over here and 3 over there, 143 threes are is exactly equal to 429. So 3 will do the purpose. So we're going to write a 3 over here and 3 over there. So 143 threes are is 429. When we subtract them, we get a 0. So getting a 0 means end of division, end of finding the square root, which also tells us that 5329 is a perfect square and it has a square root 73. But just we need to complete this, we add a 3 because we have written a 3 above to get 146. 73's double is also 146. But the answer to our question is this number, 73. So the square root of 5329 is 73. Let us look at another example. What is the square root of 26244? So first of all, we are going to make such an arrangement and write 26244. First of all, we are going to make the groups starting from the units place. So 44 is the first group, 62 is the second, and 2 is left alone. And this is the squares table. So 1 1 is 1. So I think we should be writing 1 1 is 1 over here because 2 2 are 4 will become a little bigger than 2. Remember 2 is left alone, so it's itself a group. So 1 1 is 1. When we subtract it from 2, we get a 1. And since we have written 1 over here, we need to add a 1 over here also. So 1 plus 1 is 2. But remember, just leave enough space so that we can write a digit over here. We are going to bring the 62 down together. Now, we need to search a number such that after 2, what should we write? Such that we multiply the same number over there to get 162 or a little less than 162. For instance, if I write a 5 after 2, so I need to multiply it with 5 to get 125. 26 6 is 156, which is still less than 162. 27 7 is 189, but I think 189 is bigger than 162. So we need to settle with 26 6 and not 25 5 are because it is uh, very small. This will do a purpose. So 26 6 is 156. On subtraction, we get a 6. We need to add the 6 down to get a 32. Again, leave enough space, remember, so that another digit can be written over here. Now we shall bring the 44 down together. So what should we write after 3, 2, so that when we multiply it with the same number, we get 644 or little less. So if I say 321 once, it would be 321, and 321 is very less than 644. So 322 2 are is 644. So I'm writing a 2 over here as well as over there. And we exactly get a 644. So 322 2 are 644. And we get a remainder of 0, which means that's the end of finding the square root. We'll write a 2 over here to get 324. And the answer to our question is 162. Find the square root of 8 by division method. And if the answer is irrational, we just want it to two decimal places. And we know 8 is not a perfect square because 2 squared is 4 and 3 squared is 9. So the answer should be somewhere between 2 and 3. So since we want up to two decimal places, we need to find the third decimal place also. The third digit also after the decimal point. So what are we going to do is, we're going to write 8, put a decimal point, and we're going to write 6 zeros. So 8 would be the first pair. This would be the first pair after the decimal point. This is the second pair of the decimal point. This is the third pair of the decimal point. So that we get three numbers of the decimal point, which would help us to round it off to two decimal places. So we are writing 8 as 8.0000000. Now we need to find a number such that when we multiply it over here and there, we get 8 or less. So I think 2 2 is 4 and 3 3 is 9. So 2 2 are 4 is proper way. So 2 2 is 4 
8 minus 4 is 4. We add it over here. 2 plus 2 is 4. Remember, we need to keep some space. But now we need to put the decimal point above, over here. We'll bring the two zeros down. Remember, always bring it in a pair. So what should we write after 4? Means 41 ones are, it's 41, but 41 ones are, is very less than 400. So we can start with 45 fives are 225. 46 six are 276, which is still less than 400. 47 sevens are is 329 which is still less than 400, 48 eights is 384, which is just less than 400, and 49 nines are would become 441, which is higher than 400. So we should go for this, 48 eights are 384. So we're going to write an 8 over here, 8 above to get 384, subtract it to get 16, and then we're going to add an 8 to get 56. Again, remember, leave some space. Bring two more zeros down. And now we need to search 5, 6 and what? Multiply by the same what to get 1600 or less. So 562 2 is 1124. 3 is 1689, which is bigger than 1600. So 563 3 are is going to help over here. So 562 2 so not 3s are, it's 562 2 is 1124. Subtract to get 476. Add a 2 to get 564. Again, leave some space. Bring the last two zeros down. And now we need to know what number should come over here. So 5640 watt. If it is 46, we need to multiply it with the 6. To get 33,000 something, something, something. This is 47,000. And on inserting a 7, we get 39,000 something, 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 which is still less than 47,000. Eights also gives us 45,000 and nines gives us 50,000 which is bigger. So we need to settle with 8. So 5648 are is 54184 to get 2416. Adding an 8 gives us 5656. Now since we are not getting a 0, it tells us that the division or finding the square root is still incomplete. But since we want it up to two decimal places, we have the third decimal place also. So the answer to this will be square root of 8 is 2.83. Since it's an 8, which is 5 or greater than 5, we increase this digit by 1. So 2.83 is the answer. Let's do the final sum over here. Find the square root of 4395 by division method if this is an, gives an irrational answer only up to one decimal place. So we are going to write down the number, 4, 3, 9, 5. And since we want only one decimal place, we are going to put four zeros, which means two pairs of zeros. 95 is the first pair, 43 is the second. From the decimal point on the right side, 0, 0, 0, 0 will form the pairs. So a good old square table comes up. And it tells us that 43 is little less than um, 36. So 6, 6, 36 will do over here. So 6 is 36. Subtracting 36 from 43 gives us 7. Adding a 6 gives us 12. Leave some space. So 120 how much is, uh, um, with the same how much is, uh, gives us 795. We have brought this 95 down. So 123 3 is, uh, is 369. 4 is, uh, is 496. 125 5 is, uh, is 625 which is still less than 795. 126 6 is 756, still less than 795. 127 7 is 889, which is more than 795. So 126 6 is 756. On subtraction, we get a 39. We add the 6 to get 132. Leave some space, remember. Now we need to put this decimal point above. So here it goes. We bring down the two zeros and we now need to search 1320 watt multiplied by the same watt gives us 3900 or less. So 1321, one one's is 1321. Two's are is 2644. Three's are is 3969, nine, which is bigger. So this is the proper thing. So 1322 two multiplied by 2 gives us 2644. Four. On subtraction, we get 1256. 
We add that over here to get 1, 3, 2, 4. And then we bring down the final two zeros. Now, 1, 3, 2, 4, what? Multiply by the same what gives us 1, 2, 5, 6, 0, 0, all this. So we start with 3 to get 39,729, but this is way bigger than 39,000. Then we directly try with 5 and 6 and 8 and 9s, but this number is still less than 1, 2, 5, 6, 0, 0. So we need to go for 9 because we cannot write a 10 over here. So 1, 3, 2, 4, 9, 9s are gives 1, 1, 9, 2, 4. On subtraction, we still don't get a 0, we get 6,358, and adding a 9 gives us 13 to 58. But since we only want it up to one decimal place, we'll stop over here, otherwise we need to continue from here. So the answer to our question is 66.3. We have rounded this off to one decimal place. If you like this video, please share this, please subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.